So I am going to discuss how to write a program to display Fibonacci series. Let's get started. Okay. What is a Fibonacci series? Fibonacci series is nothing but if I take 0, okay, if I take 0 and 1, the next particular number is going to be sum of the previous numbers. 0 plus 1, it's going to give 1. The next series, the next number is going to be 1 plus 1, it's going to be 2. Okay, the next number is going to be 2 plus 3, it's going to be 3. Okay, then how you are going to program this particular sequence? If I want to display the sequence in the console, then how I am going to write the C++ program? Okay, in this session we will discuss this program. Okay, first it's going to be stored in one particular variable. Okay, let me take a. Okay, let in the a zero is stored. Okay, in the b one is stored. Okay, c. What is c logic? C equal to a plus b. Okay, c equal to a plus b. Now I'm using loops to execute this particular sequence. Okay, now for every execution, c is equal to a plus b. What is the next sequence? Next sequence is going to be the sum of the previous sequences. So in the loop, in the loop what I am writing, in the loop what I am writing, now every time this particular sequence, okay, this sequence, now C should be passed to variable B. C should be passed to variable B. Now B should be passed to, B should be passed to variable A, okay. B should be passed to variable A. That's how you are going to program it. Okay. Now next sequence is going to be what next sequence? C equal to what? C equal to A plus B. That's nothing but 1 plus 1. So whenever I am going to execute the particular sequence, I am going to take from the user, enter the particular starting numbers. Okay. Let, let me take C in greater than, greater than A, greater than, greater than B. That's nothing but two numbers the user is going to enter. Let us assume the user has entered A equal to 0 and B equal to 1. Okay. The next, the next sequence value is going to be 1 because the Fibonacci series is going to say that the next number is going to be the sum of the previous numbers. So let's get started with the programming. Okay, how many variables I need to display the Fibonacci series? I need 1, 2, 3 variables, okay, which is of integer type a comma b comma c, okay, then then C out, enter, enter the values of a, b, okay, enter the values of a, b. Enter the values of A comma B. Okay, A B. Okay. Otherwise, you can write enter the value of A, enter the value of B. You can do that way also. Okay, no issues. Okay, C N. Okay, in the one shot, I am taking two variables. Okay, A and B. I am expecting in one line only. Then the user is going to enter A and B values. Okay, what is the logic you are expected? Okay, now see here. I am taking loops. I am taking loops. Int A. Okay, int A equal into i equal to 0 i less than or equal to less than or equal to how many series you are expecting 0 1 1 2 3 okay what is the next one it is going to be 5 which right next it is going to be 8 like this how many you are expecting okay that particular condition I am going to write here for example I am taking right now 5 only okay right now I am taking 5 only for each increment how many times this particular loop should increment I am writing by default increment by here increment by 1 okay now inside the loop what are you going to write the logic that is going to print it the console output. So, what's the logic you are expected? Okay, that some of the previous two numbers, some of the previous two numbers, that's nothing but the user is going to enter this particular number. That numbers also should be displayed. That numbers also should be displayed. Okay, now in particular sequence. Okay, now see out. See out. Less than less than a. Okay, after displaying a value, what's the space requirement you are expecting? You are expecting tab space. So, give the tab space. Less than less than b, okay. Less than less than b. Then you are expected what tab space, okay. Tab space is expected, okay. Fine, okay. Then after executing a and b value, the next number it is going to have some logic. That's nothing but every time c equal to a plus b. So every time I am going to perform operation c equal to a plus b, c equal to a plus b. Okay, C equal to A plus B and you need to see the value of C. Okay, you need to see the value of C. Okay, then you are writing C. Okay, then after after displaying C value, I am expecting what? Tab space I am expecting. Okay, tab space I am expecting every time. Okay, now after performing C equal to A plus B, now the particular C value should be sent to B and B value should be sent to A. Okay, now let's do this one. Okay, now A equal to what? A is going to be B value and 
B equal to C. Okay, B equal to C. This is going to happen for each iteration. This is going to happen for each iteration. Okay. Let's run this program. Okay, let us assume A is taking 0 and B is taking 1. Okay, now see here. The Fibonacci series you are seeing 0, 1. Okay, what is this one? C equal to A plus B, the sum of the previous number, the sum of the previous numbers. Okay, then, then the next series is going to be 1 plus 1, it's going to be 2. Okay, next 2 plus 3 is going to be 5. Okay, 5 plus 3 is going to be 8. 8 plus 3, 5 equal to 13. Okay, now you want this press any key to come to next line. Okay, press any key to come to next line. Then what you are going to do in this program after completing this loop execution you are going to expect new line okay end of the line okay now here why I have written this particular C of statements A and B in the previous uh, I am writing before the loop why I am writing A B to previous before the loop because this A B I should execute only once okay if I want to see every time A B values then I need to make the particular A B C of statement to execute inside the loop but I don't want to see A and B Every time I want to see only once, okay, when the particular user has entered 0 and 1. At that time only I want to see 0 and 1. The next time everything is going to be logic only. I don't want to see here A, B values. I just want to see only what is C, C is holding, okay. That's how you are going to program the people of your series using C++ program, okay. Okay. Now, I told that uh, whenever you are going to use the loops, uh, you can you can use for loop and while loop and do while loop, okay? For loop and while loop, do while loop. These are three loops you are going to use, okay? This particular initialization, initialization you are going to make it first, okay? This is about for loop. Now, we will do with while loop, okay? You are going to make the keyword, what keyword you will be using? While, okay? The condition you are writing, I less than equal to 5. This is nothing but it is going to, it is going to show, it is going to show one time, okay? One time, two time, three time. 4 times 5 times 6 times and then it is going to go to next also 13 okay see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay because you are writing z i equal to i equal to 0 and i less than or equal to 5 okay then 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay then it's going to uh, iterate this loop for 6 times okay for each after each iteration the i value should be incremented by 1 okay the i value should be incremented by 1 okay this is how you are going to program using while loop the same fibonacci series will be printed let's let's run this program and see okay enter the a value 0 okay enter the b value 0 cool. so it is showing the same as before okay this is using while loop okay if you want to do the same program using do while loop the condition is going to be tested after the particular sequence of the statements is executed okay that that's the only change you are going to make see See, enter the A value, I am entering 0, okay, enter the B value, I am entering zero, 1, okay, it is going to execute this loop, uh, loop how many times, it is going to execute 6 times and before 0 and 1, I have written outside the loop, so it is going to display 0 and 1 in first one, then it is going entering into the loop, okay, this is how this particular uh, execution is going to take place, okay, if you want to see how the particular is compare is going to execute this program, okay, how the compare is going to execute this program, then inside the breakpoint, and you can see how the particular execution is taking place. Now release the breakpoint. Okay, release the breakpoint and see how the particular compiler is going to execute this program. Okay, the compiler is taking A and B values. Okay, compiler is expecting A and B values. Now you are entering 0 and 1. Okay, you have entered. Now compiler is moving to next line. Compiler is going to move to next line. Then again press F10. Okay, F10. It is entering. It is entering. So after each after each statement, okay, after each execution, now see is going to be 1 okay c is going to be 1 again press f10 okay again press again f10 now the particular cursor is going to blink in the next line okay this is how it is going to take the i values okay i values i values is going to be watched okay you can add to add watch and you can see what's i value i is going to take one okay now now i is taking the now i is going to increment by what factors okay i is going to increment i is going to increment and you can see this one okay one two three okay now three plus two it is expected okay three plus two it is expected so how this how it is going to run the program okay now see here f10 okay now after executing for uh, six, five, six times then it is coming to 
outside this coming out of the loop because condition fails condition fails then if i is taking six condition fails that is coming out of the loop this how you are going to do the fibonacci series using for loop while loop and do while loop that's all for this session we we'll continue the next session thank you